You fool, squirrel! Can't you tell it's me? Hey, don't forget about us. Click squirrel. Click squirrel. You're perfect. You win the audition. Right on. I hope the prize is cupcakes. Squirrel stampede. Twenty twenty. Please squike. Click Squirrel is all powerful. Ah, click Copacat. On the table today, we will be clicking together the evil Click Lord Modulus and how to construct this clickbot of ultimate click evil. Uh oh. We'll also be taking a look at the Stickbot Studio pack of Clonk. And Helix is also here in transparent green. How very emerald. We have a lot of click to do today. You just have to see, so let's click right to it. On the table, it is all about ClickBot, and we're going to build the large click combiner Modulus. But to build Modulus, we are going to have to go through the ClickBot Studio Pack Clonk. Helix is also here today. We have a lot of clicking to do. On the back of the boxes, I think you already have a pretty good idea what ClickBot is. As we've already checked out the Thud and Slink Studio Packs. So with Clonk here, we should finally be able to construct Modulus. Helix in the single pack is good to see too. I've yet to find Axel in red though. Let's get Clonk out, a very deep solid orange. And what is that on his back? Vacuum cleaner attachments? And the Clonk out of package. Full of click. We have extra hand attachments and extra suction cup attachments and these very cool green click attachments. King Nix is up on the tripod that comes with this pack. These tripods are great for walking around with. And I love the backdrops with these sets. I think I'd like to style something off of those backdrops someday for my own set. It would make a nice substitute for the big blue wall. And of course instructions included which is kind of funny because this is a nicer instruction set. It's higher gloss. A little easier to go through. The first two studio packs just have these paper cutouts for instructions, so that's all kind of odd. So if you're forgetting, the click bots are all about click. All these joints are clicked together, very clicky, and you can pop them off and do all sorts of additions, all sorts of creativeness to them, and they're perfect, way easier than stick bot for stop motion because click bots hold much more solid than the stick bots ever did. And that's one of the reasons I just adore the click bots. First things first, we have to build a Modulus Minion, which is included with the Clonk Studio Pack. All these pieces should help build. So let's see if I can real quick throw that together. And there we go, our Modulus Mini Done? Is that its name? It almost looks like it because Clonk has the same kind of labeling. I'll call him Done. I'll call it Done. And I think my favorite Modulus Minion so far. I think it all has to do with these tripod feet. They look really cool and clicktacular. This headpiece is also kind of interesting. I thought I broke it for a second, but it is purposely detachable. Uh, be a little careful with that. You don't want it to snap. And then a nice little cannon in the back. But that is a fun little minion bot. Oh, I hate to take it apart for Modulus, but I think we're going to have to do just that. And again, to build Modulus, you're going to need to collect all three studio packs. Thud in red, Slink in green, and of course, Clonk back there in orange. A whole bunch of click pieces are included with these packs, and a whole bunch more over here. I guess we're not going to use arms and legs, so we can pull those out. But now, we've got to figure out how to build Modulus. To find instructions on Modulus, head on over to the Zing StickBot webpage and look for ClickBots. I think it's under Fun and Games. I will try to link that down in the description. 
First things first, let's take some pieces apart. All right, everything is mostly unclicked together. I think I'm leaving some of these because I think they'll probably go right back to how they are there. I doubt Modulus is going to use every one of these pieces. We shall see though. So let's begin the Modulus build. What do you think? Did we construct him? Oh look, his name is also done. The ClickBot Evil Modulus built. Looking pretty tall against your average ClickBot. There is quite the linking going on. Still some pieces left over though. You could almost make him a little bit larger. I kind of want to work on those upper arms. Make them a little bit longer. There's a little bit of trickery in how those arms are built. I hope I got them close. The cool part about these though is you really can customize them to what you want them to be. They're pretty easy to work with and lock really tight, so just have at it. Modulus is looking sinister though, kind of praying mantis-like with those big red claw shields. The green tripod feet make for great feet, those hold him nice and steady. And the little blue sword piece on the back for the tail is a nice touch. We could almost add some maybe wings back here or something cool. Maybe someday. Good looking headpiece too, it just kind of stares back at you. What a build the ClickBot Evil Modulus is. I almost forgot, we still have Helix to show off today. Helix in the transparent green, and its weapons kind of scissors tuning fork like. Never run with scissors, right? And opening up. and Helix out of the pack. I'm still debating this in my head over and over again. Which do I prefer, the transparent or the solid? The solid colors from the studio packs are so vivid, especially Clonk back there. But the transparency bots look so cool. By the way, Helix, let's move those legs in. That's gotta stand funny. There you go. So what do we have for weapons? Here's the scissor hands they look like. Helix scissor hands, they call him. And this could be a shield, maybe. So let's figure out this shield situation. Probably don't need the suction cup hand feet. And we'll remove the regular hands. There's one tuning fork scissors hands. And the shield looks pretty interesting. We've got to probably add these together. Ah, there we go. Nice and clicky, a little bit of plastic on there still from the uh, cutout. I'm going to be dangerous and use my X-Acto knife and really dig into it. That was horrible. Don't do that at home. And finally there, we have a dainty shield for Helix. I say dainty as it could have been a little bit larger actually. But it's neat to see, don't get me wrong. Now I just have to hunt for Axel in transparent red. Ooh, and look, Axel has wings. Those would look great on Modulus. And real quick, let's reback arm clonk.
These back clip pieces are great for adding on back armor. What a fun studio back. Click bot, click animate share from Zing. You can find on store shelves and online 2020. Perfect for stop motion animation as the click holds tight. Collect all the studio packs to build Modulus, the evil enemy, and also just have a lot of cool click gear. Look for the ClickBot single packs too, they are an enjoyable play. Just don't overclick oneself. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs> and Helix is here in green! How transparent he. Leg fell off. Oops. And he fell, his leg fell off again. Come on. I have a bad leg. Where did my notepad go? It was like right there. I had a notepad, I swear.